acknowledgement i have relied heavily on others during the creation of this book before anyone else i must thank my wife christy who has been indispensable throughout this process she had played every role a person can play in the writing of a book spouse friend fan critic editor researcher therapist it's no ex exaggeration to say this book would not be the same without her it might not exist at all like everything in our life we did it together second i am grateful to my family not only for their support and encouragement on this book but also for believing in me no matter what project i happen to be working on i have benefited from many years of support from my parents grandparents and siblings in particular i want my mom and dad to know that i love them it is a special feeling to them that your parents are your greatest fan third to my assistant lency knuckles at this point her job defies description as she has been asked to do nearly everything one could imagine for a small business thankfully her skills and talents are more powerful than my questionable management style some actions of this book are such much hers as they are mine i am deeply grateful for her help as for the content and writing of the book i have a long list of people to thank to start there are few people from whom i have learned so much that it would be a crime to not mention them by name liu babutha charles duhick neil l b j fog have each influenced my thoughts on habits in meaningful way their work and ideas can be found sparkle throughout this text if you enjoyed this book i would encourage you to read their writing as well at various stages of writing i benefited from the guidance of many fine editors thanks to peter gazardi for walking me through the early stages of of the writing process and for a kick in the pant when i really needed it i am in debt to Bl- black atwood and robin delaboch for transferring for transferring my ugly and insanely long first draft into a tight readable manuscript and i am thankful to any brown grover for her ability to add a little class and poetic style to my writing i like to thank to my people who read early versions of the manuscript and including bruce amons Darcy Ansel Tim Ballard Wishall Wishall Birdwatch Charlotte Blanc Jermo Bird Sim Campbell AI Carlos Nikki Case Julia Chang Jason Collin Debra Crow Roger Dolly Thiago Fort Matt Gartland Andrew Gearer Arandi Ruffin John Giganti Adam Gilbert Stephen Gaynat Germany hand hand on Jean Horwa Joachim Jensen Jules Kaufman Annie Kawang Kawanak Chris Kalus Zeke Lupus Kenny Mecham Seed Metson Kira Megret Amy Mitchell Annie Moist Stacy Morris Tara Nicole Nelson Taylor Pearson Max Shank Kai Shelton Jason Shant Jacob Zinglet and Ari Zelmanov the book benefit greatly from your feedback to the team at Avery and Penguin Random House who made this book a reality thank you i owe you a debt of a special thank to my publisher Megan Newman for the for her endless patience as i continuously push back that lines she gave me the space i needed to create a book i was proud and champion my ideas at every step to nina for her ability to transform my writing while still retailing 
retaining my original message to Lindsay, Farron, Sazy, and the rest of the PRH team for spreading the message of this book to more people than I could ever reach on my own, to Pete Garcia for more people than I could ever, for designing a beautiful cover for this book, and to my agent Lisa Demona for her guidance and insight at every step of the publishing process, to the many friends and family members who asked how the book going and offered a word of encouragement when I inevitably replied slowly, thank you. Every author faces a few dark moments when writing a book and one kind word can be enough to get you to show up again and next day. I'm sure there are people I have forgotten, but I keep an update list of anyone who has influenced my thinking and meaningful ways at jamesclear.com forward slash thanks. And finally to you, life is short and you have shared some of your precious time with me by reading this book. Thank you. Notes. In this section, I have included a detailed list of notes, reference, and citation for each chapter in the book. I trust that most readers will find this list to be sufficient. However, I also realize that scientific literature changes over time, and the reference for this book may need to be updated. Furthermore, I fully expect that I have made a mistake somewhere in this book, either in contribution an idea to the wrong person or not giving credit to someone where it is due. If you believe this to be the case, please email me at so I can fix the issue as soon as possible. In addition to the notes below, you can find a full list of updates and notes and correction. Introduction We all deal with setbacks. What about luck? You might ask, luck matters. Certainly, habits are not the only things that influence our success, but they are probably the most important factor that is within your control. And the only self improvement strategy that makes any sense is to focus on what you, what you can control. The entrepreneur investor Naval Ravikant. To write a great book, you must first become the book. Stimulus, re stimulus response reward. The behavior of organism. Q routine reward. The power of habit. Why we do what we do in life and business. Chapter 1. Just a single gold medal at the Olympic Games. How GB cycling went from tragic to magic. Tour de France. The whole principle schemes from the idea. Brainsford and his coach begin with Just five years after Bill's foot took over. Technically, the British riders won 57% of the road and track cycling medal at the 2008 Olympic. 14 gold medals were available in the road and track cycling event. The Brits won eight medals. The Brit raised the bar. World Olympic records set the 2012 Summer Olympics. Chapter 2. You can imagine them like the layers of an onion. I resolved to stop chewing my nails. Research has shown that once a person, there is an internal pressure. Your identity is literally your repeated beingness. Technically, Identity is a word belonging to the late Latin language. I also thank to Tamar Shamani, a reader, jamesclear.com, who originally told me about the etymology of the word identity, which she looked up in the American Heritage Dictionary. 
we change bit by bit this is another reason atomic habit are such as effective form of change if you are change your identity too quickly and become someone radically different overnight then you feel as if you lose your sense of self but if you update and expand your identity expand your identity gradually you will find yourself reborn into some totally new and yet still similar slowly habits by habit vote by vote you become accustomed to your new identity atomic habits and gradual improvement are the key to identify identify change without identify loss